Hey everyone, it's a rainy day here today in Brisbane. So, what I thought I was doing, I just wasn't 100% happy with this 12 volt setup. I think I can do better. Um, it's just quite awkward to get to some of these switches and I'm probably not using a heap of these. And these lights really, when I press them off, it doesn't go off properly. And they don't stay off, they kind of still glow a bit. So, um, and the dimmer doesn't, I don't know if these switches are caught up somewhere in the back here. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna, I think I might get rid of this box. I don't think I need it. I'm just gonna I'm put some switch panels maybe here or here, I don't know. I'm just gonna swap it up a bit. So I'm gonna rip it out and start again. Alright, give you a bit of an update. So we've ripped it all apart. Um, I'll get the torch on it here so we can lighten it up a bit. Uh, a bit of a mess at the minute, but I've got this sheet of ACM, which is aluminium composite panel. I'm going to mount it up here somewhere. And then put all these, I'm going to retrofit all these switches, fuse box, um, and the SIG lighters and everything into that. Uh, I've, I've just I've put a couple of battens across the back that are double the width now. And you can see in here a bit. Hang on, let me get the torch. So, uh, yeah, I'll tidy all these wires up. And it should be a better job once we're finished. And it'll certainly give me some more room. So, I'll check back shortly with another progress report. Alright, so next part of the so i've cut my acm which is the aluminium consulate panel that was easy for me to say um probably the next big thing is trying to plan out where everything goes so i've had a bit of a mock-up here on the on the acm panel um and that's reversed because i'm using the back of it so it'll be mirror image it'll be flipped but that's kind of where everything's going to go oops my light's getting in the way um, I might bring this out here and we can see it better. So, yeah, that's kind of what we're looking at. And we'll cut that all out now. And I have got a bit of wrap material that I did the bonnet with, which I might wrap over the top of it in a nice bit of black. Um, just so it matches the carpet a bit better. And um, we'll fit everything in and then we'll have another look at where I'm or how I'm going to hopefully run the cables to try and keep it tidy and behind there and for future um, bits that I'm going to put in it. So I still want to put my water tank, I've got to hook it up with a pump yet and I've got to hook up, um, I would one day maybe like to get central locking on the canopy handles. So a little bit of stuff to do yet so I'm trying to provision some stuff for later on down the track. I have put a provision in there, that cable there is, um, that's coming into the canopy now. Um, there's a couple of bits of wires here somewhere I can find them so these ones here that's my provision there these two fellas um, these ones that's going to be for the water pump when I get the tank sorted out which is up in here anyway um, okay I'll keep going and I'll get back to you shortly now luckily we do a bit of wrapping on the side at work so I happen to have little piece of black left over from when I did my bonnet so we're just going to give this a wrap and uh, make it all nice and matchy hopefully Right, so we'll go and get this, all the bits put in it. See what it looks like. All right, so quick update. We've just finished the wrap off, cut it all out, and we've mounted um, all of the panels, as you can see. And then on the back, 
we start at the wiring. So we got a little bit to go yet, but um, yeah, it's starting to come together. So we'll have USB and then um, three ciggies. Fuse box, that's for the, uh, the winch, big ARB dual compressor. So if we do have any dramas, the fuses are gonna be pretty easy to get to. Uh, battery meter and then four switches not sure what I'll use all these for yet but yeah we'll work that out and our lights I'm gonna put the other switch this time on the other side of the canopy because I had both of them on one side and what was happening was it was around the other side I couldn't turn the other one on so I'm gonna I'm gonna mount the other one on the driver's side of the canopy so I've got lights on each side anyway and um, I'll take you over here it's kind of a work in progress still just going to start welding, uh, welding, um, soldering this all up and we'll get into the spaghetti of wires and try and tidy some of them up too. So, yeah, good thing to do on a rainy Sunday. Quick update, it's been a long day, I haven't filmed much, sorry, but I've kind of got it where I want it to be. So I've got, um, I haven't put the fridge back in yet, but I have put the wall back on. So I've got everything lined up where I want to be. The lights are working, which is cool. I've got the lights inside working. And what I've done around the other side here is I've put the switch up in here this time. So I can turn this one on and off from this side. Didn't turn off right yet because I think the switch is broken but I'll fix that switch up. Um, get everything wired back in here. Uh, provision for an oven. Gotta just put that fridge back in. And um, yeah. So that's a whole weekend's work. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that much has changed but I think just having this all here is pretty cool. I got my USB plugs and this light here on and off. That's pretty cool. And everything seems to be working, so job done. So that is the Canopy Mark II. I'm sure it's going to change it when I get kitchens and that sort of stuff in. Hang on, you're a bit close to me. I'm sure you don't want to see me that close. Uh, so anyway, fridge in drawers kitchen pantry all that sort of stuff to come but and then probably the next thing is the water tank and cooking all the time another day all right thanks for watching speak soon